in this video, I want to talk about tangents and why they're important and how they affect lofting. So we have this basic shape here I created with the line tool. And you'll notice that it's at an angle and these lines do not smoothly transition into each other. So this is okay for, whoops, let me fix that. This is okay for certain shapes, but is going to be a problem when we start lofting. So we want to make sure that everything smoothly transitions from one line to the next. Now, some shapes of course can have an angle and that's fine. But in this case, we want to make things smooth. So there's a couple ways we could do this. Let's say we create a line here and we create a line here and we want to transition these. Well, a really easy way is to select these two points, press L, and we have a loft that goes from one line to the other. And we can merge these lines together, join them together, and everything will smoothly transition. Okay. Now I want to note something here. Notice that this line is perfectly aligned with this control point here. And that's no accident. And what that basically means is that if you think of this curve like a series of different angles and lines, that the edge on the end of this will line up perfectly with this line if everything is, is in line with this, this last line. So that basically is what a tangent is. A tangent is something, and of course I'm gonna draw this uh, manually here, but imagine that a tangent is the, a line that lines up perfectly with a per particular point on a curve, okay? Now of course I did this manually, so it's not actually going to be mathematically perfect, but we'll pretend that it is. Now when we create a loft, these control points are mathematically perfect and that's exactly what we want when creating a perfectly smooth transition. Okay, so that's that's pretty easy. Another way we could do this is create a set of lines here and we could press B and round this edge out or if we wanted to round a particular edge, we could select this control point and round this edge. This will also create a a curve that is has perfectly aligned tangents. Okay, mm, let's look at one more possibility. This is a little bit more advanced, but let's say we have a set of curves, maybe one right here and one right here. Okay, now let's say we wanted to manually transition between these two curves. Well, that's that's gonna be tricky if we didn't use some kind of assistance because we wanna get this mathematically perfect. But there actually is an option. Now, we can start with the control point curve, not the spline curve, but the control point curve. We can start on this point and plasticity provides snapping to tangents. So there's a control point and that's pretty much what we need. Now this might give us exactly what we need except that these two these two lines here are not necessarily going to line up perfectly because we did this by hand and by sight and not mathematically so chances are these are not perfectly aligned so a way to get around this for the second point is to create a line and then we want to snap to the tangent and this is going to be temporary so then I will select my control point curve, click here, click along the tangent. Then I will use this line as my second guide, if you will. And then I'll snap here. And then we wanna delete this. And let's even prove that this works. So the deal with tangents when it comes to lofting is that we wanna have a curve when, when we're using a curve guide, we have to have the tangents perfectly mathematically lined. If we do it by sight, it's not likely going to work. So let's join this together. And that looks good. Now let's create a circle and press V. Okay. So let's, let's loft from another circle so I'm going to create another one here with a two-point circle 
I'm going to loft and if this works, we can now use this curve as our guide and because the curves are all perfectly aligned, this works. Now, let's imagine for a second that we delete this middle part. In fact, that's not going to probably work well for us. So let's let's create this again. And there we go. So let's use a spline curve and I'm going to try to get the exact edge here. And same here. Now let's imagine we did this manually, even with the control point curve. We can get this tangent and let's, you know, let's say we, we think that these are aligned. I can actually tell that these are not, but let's even, you know, kind of push this in a little bit, try to get this right. And we will join all of these curves. They look like they're tangent, but if we actually, oops, let's see that didn't join. Let's press J. Okay, perfect. Now let's create a loft and grab this and our lofting fails because this is not perfect. So this is this is pretty much why it's important for us to have tangents that are perfectly mathematically aligned because otherwise the lofting will fail. And in a lot of ways this makes sense because it doesn't make sense for the program to create a full loft when we have a break in the curve. Now we could potentially could potentially do something like let's say we have this here and this here. And actually let's see. I want to make this one piece. We could possibly create this in sections. So for example, I'm going to duplicate this curve and loft between these and then use this as a guide. Uh, looks like looks like that's not going to work because this circle needs to be connected as well. So we'll go from here and same down here. It looks like deleted this one. Okay, so loft between those. And in this case, it really doesn't make sense for me to use this extra guide, but I used it anyway. And it's working because it's a separate section and we could make separate sections with this broken edge if we create them separately and that would work perfectly fine. So uh, another another thing we could do to prove this is to do something like this. And of course we want to make sure this is on the edge and do something like that. And we could create this in sections. Whoops, let's see. Loft, do that, confirm and then loft and we could use this if we wanted to. Okay, and so that that's something we could also do and we could maybe merge this. I'm not exactly sure I've had limited success with bevels on this kind of edge, but that's something we could choose to do. But uh, if we want it to be one smooth continuous line, one smooth continuous shape, then we've got to make sure that the tangents are lined up so for example, in this case, we could possibly fix this by joining these two and grabbing this point and pressing B. And because they're not, they're not tangent, then we can create a bevel or a fillet and smooth that out, loft here and perfect. We are now able to create this new shape. Looks kind of like an antler and that might, you know, might be what we need. So as a bonus, I want to show how we can implement this idea with the joystick shape that we created in the last video. So I'm going to delete this and let's see, I'm going to delete that and this middle piece. So I'm going to actually just create two lines and I want to make sure that we are snapping to the the outermost point on on this side. So let's see, we got a intersection here. So that's perfect. And then the nice thing is with plasticity, we could rotate the camera while we were while we are modeling. Um, I might do something like might actually go straight up 
and then rotate this again and we see this point here sometimes these points are available sometimes they they're not i'm not exactly sure why but it looks like we have the ability to snap to this and i'm going to confirm that so normally if we tried to loft this together and we use this as a guide it would break so let's press b and that's going to round things out and we might be might even be able to skip the middle part for now we could add it if we wanted to uh, control the shape a little bit better but in this case we'll skip it now i'm not sure that this shape makes a whole lot of sense but you can see that it it does indeed work so let me actually try one more final thing to get a better shape i'm going to delete this and maybe make this even more compl complicated I'm going to click here and maybe here and then up here mm, that might be too far over we'll see we might adjust it in a second i'm going to move this so that it's not quite so drastic and then same here i might actually move this in as well all right so of course if we use this as a guide it's going to fail but if we press b and round each of these edges and then we use this loft and these as guides then we have something looks looks pretty cool now we actually get some interesting shapes if we wanted to control this more we would need more lines and uh, possibly some more transitions maybe even some more edits um, i'm pretty happy with the way that this looks for this video there we go we've got a really cool shape and we have now used the smooth transitions for our tangents and our loft works just fine that's pretty much exactly how we want to go about things when uh, when working with lofting and tangents we want to make sure everything is lined if we don't things are going to break when we actually go to loft so i hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was informative and it helps solve your lofting problems because lofting was really confusing to me still is in some cases but uh, this this uh, helped clear up a lot of issues for me so if you like this video please consider subscribing liking this video sharing this video with friends and hitting that notification bell to stay up to date